Hello, it's Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a pen review. This pen that I'm talking about today is the Yiren 878. Um, it's a Chinese pen and I bought this from eBay. It cost about £3. Um, so not hugely expensive, um, but it is a rather unusual pen um, when you consider that you know, Chinese pens generally tend to be plastic. This one, all metal. Um, I'd say that the metal is like a uh, sort of gunmetal uh, finish, uh, gunmetal colour. It's it's quite a dark silver. Um, it's a very attractive colour. It's not silvery and um, too shiny. Uh, I mean, it is shiny, but it's not uh, it's not that silver colour that you see uh, in some uh, some materials. So, the Yiren 878 comes with a fine nib, fine steel nib. Um, and, yeah, that's the pen. It's quite a nice looking thing. Um, it's got some weight to it as well, obviously. There's nothing remarkable about the cap. It's not the most polished finial on there. Um, there is a bit of a band clip which matches the pen. It is pretty stiff, but it is functional. Um, there is a bit of a uh, try and get this to focus. Let's pop it down there. There we go. There is a slight sort of taper to the cap, and the barrel, yeah, slowly tapers down to finial at the bottom which is domed and the same sort of uh, metal colour and finish. There are these swirled engravings on the uh, on the pen which I think add to the uh, the overall design it's actually quite attractive. Pop the cap off it's quite uh, quite a good clip on there. Um, yep yeah, screw at the bottom no obvious cap liner, but I haven't had any issues with this uh, this nib drying out in use. Two-tone nib, steel nib, fine. Um, yeah, not a lot to say about that. Metal section might put people some it might put uh, some people off. I don't find it slippery. It's a nice, comfortable um, diameter. Um, there is a step up at the back where it meets the barrel, but that's not at all. You can't really feel that at all, so that's quite good. Um, and it's nice that the metal section matches the rest of the pen. So, unscrew it, and this pen comes with a reasonably good um, standard international converter. Isn't I mean, it's not the most amazing thing, but it's it's all right. It does the job. Screw that back on. And the pen sort of posts, not very deeply, and it's very, very back heavy, not very nice to use, posted. So, that's the pen. Um, just talk about the weight briefly. I don't normally talk about weight in pens. Uh, pens are either light, heavy or whatever, but this is an all metal pen, so therefore let's have a look at what weight it is. So... All together, 54 and a half grams. So, fairly heavy, uncapped. Balance this carefully on here. 35.7 grams. So it is, you know, it's, it's reasonably heavy. Uh, turn this off. Pop that there. And let's do a quick comparison to Alarmy All Star another all metal pen and it is pretty much identical in length uncap uncap the urine and it's a little bit it's about a centimeter shorter so there you go that's what to expect so let's do a quick writing sample This is a fine nib.
it definitely is a fine. Um, there is a bit of feedback. I've done absolutely no work at all on this nib, and I find it perfectly smooth and smooth and comfortable to write with. Um, it is a pretty good writer, and it lays down lots of ink. No skipping, no hard starts, never anything like that. Um, and you're not going to get much flex out of this. It does lay down some decent ink. You can get a tiny bit of line variation if you push the nib a little bit. So that's quite good considering the price of this pen. Um, this ink, by the way, is a, uh, what is it, Diamine Brilliant Red. So, So, um, this is quite a nice little Chinese pen, little, decent Chinese pen, it's a good size. Um, I find it very, very nice to write with. It's a comfortable size in the hand, um, unposted, and yeah, I've got, you know, average size hands. So, I do quite like it. That cap, though. Um, I have had one or two issues with the way that it clips on. It can be a little bit extreme, and that does cause a little bit of ink spatter inside the cap. Um, so you do, I mean, you can see here, I've got a bit of that red ink on my fingers. So you take it off and the section's got a few drops on. So there is a review of the Year and 878. Um, it's a pretty good fountain pen. I've had some Year and pens which are well, mediocre, but you sort of accept that for the price and think, well, he pays your money, he takes your choice, decide whether to whether to buy it or not. Um, this one is actually, I think, definitely worth the money. If you want an all-metal pen that's actually really well built, it's solid, um, that's actually really quite inexpensive, then I don't think you can go far wrong with the Year and 878. Um, the nib is great. It writes, no problems whatsoever with it. Um, it's a good pen. So, there we go. That definitely gets a thumbs up from me. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.